Hey guys, this is uh, Tony from Indicut Gaming, and uh, we're here playing Life After Us. Uh, it's supposed to be an indie horror game. Um, heard it's pretty scary, so um, gonna try to check it out and see you. You know what's the whole big deal? Uh, but honestly, I'm probably one of the biggest wimps when it comes to scary games. I didn't want to play this game in the first place, but I did need to post up a video and you know carry up my half of the bargain. So, um, tell me if you like this video and uh, if you enjoy me screaming. So, uh, let's go and get this started. I've been tasked with retrieving the granddaughter of Miss Hemington. I've been told the girl is in her late 20s, but due to her mental illness, she has the mind of a child. She's believed to have returned to Hawthorne Sanitarium where she was once a patient. I will search the asylum for the girl and return her safe. Alright, so uh, I guess we're playing a private investigator who is um, stupidly running into an asylum to go hunt for a crazy girl in an asylum. So uh, let's see how this goes. Alright. So far, so good. Okay. Just looking around. A note. <clears throat> Grandmother sent me here. She says I'm not a, being a proper young woman. She says I'm acting like a child, but I'm only a child. She gets so mad when I say that. This place is strange. Well, obviously, it's going to be a little strange. You know, you're going to a lunatic asylum that nobody's in, so it's all obviously going to be strange. Okay. random room full of chairs. Oh, the note. I made a new friend today, Dr. Tar. He says I'm very pretty. He kept touching my hair. He must really like it. Dr. Tar was all up in that weave. Okay, and a broken glass, cabinet, bunch of garbage, some period. Oh, some more period blood. Okay don't like it here. A mean woman took Mr. Teddy away. She said, I'm too old for silly things like toys. He's not a toy. He's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him next to my bed. <laughs> Alright, so Mr. Teddy should be here. So I'm guessing we got to bring him back here. To this creepy room. Full of blood. Let's go find that little berry son of a bee. Okay, where is he at? He's over here. Oh, dead end. Oh, dead end. I like how this guy's full blown spreading like Usain Bolt. It's crazy. Oh, there he is. Dr. Tor told me to meet him in his office and said not to tell anyone. He put his hands on me and touched me and smiled. Ooh. I didn't like where he was touching me, but he said it was part of an examination to make me feel better. <sighs> Dr. Tar got a little handsy. Possibly raped her. Okay. Alright. And done. Blackout, and upon awakening, I find myself still in the asylum, but something is wrong. The darkness surrounds me, and I feel as if I'm not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. <coughs> so, it is dark. Ah, uh, me, dark, asylum. Not a very good combination. Very bad. Okay. Dr. Tar told me I'm very pretty, and I'm not a girl. I'm a woman. He said little girls don't look as pretty as I do. He says I'm a war man. Okay. 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 Dr. Tar came to visit me at night. He kept saying I was very pretty. Then he got in the bed and on top of me. Woo. He 
kept telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. Uh, he got mad when I shouted in pain and hit me, or he hit me, and he visits me every night now. That's six, son of a bee. Oh. It's not creepy at all. No, I do not want to make you pretty. You sick, weird looking mannequin with bloody legs and no head. Pretty, pretty, pretty. God. Let's go look up here. Oh damn. Okay. Okay, go read the note. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was very creepy. He gets so mad if I'm not pretty. He says my head is so small and pretty. I started bleeding after he came to visit me last night. I wish I could go home. Oh. Okay, run. Take. It's cool. It's cool. We're just finding a head. Don't worry about me. Fuck that note. Ah. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna walk back. We're gonna go put that head back. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck is that? Go, go, go! Oh, go, 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 go! Put the head back. Go on! Stupid bitch, take your head back. Fuck. A lot of whispering. I want to know what it's. Want to know what's going on? Don't hurt me. Whatever you do, don't hurt me. Don't marry me. Don't hurt me. Don't. What the fuck is that? What's more, we're awake in this place. I know he'd be hell on earth. Definitely is. There's something holding me here. It will not be leave me. And something much worse is looking for me. I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't even know where to go. Nope, dead end. So I'm just gonna sprint. Fuck everything. Fuck it. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, hell yeah. Found something. What is that? Nope. Dr. Tar stopped coming to visit me at night once he took my baby. He took him. He said I can't have it because it was a mistake. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was. He took my baby boy and put him in a box. I could hear my baby scream as he set, him, set fire to him. I want my baby. It's not really a baby. It's just like a half man skull. Was that her? Is that the guy we're, girl we're looking for? Problem solved? Is everything done? I guess we gotta take the baby. Alright. <gasps> Fuck! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! God damn it! Run! 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 Fuck! 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 Run! Fuck! Run! Get through the door! Note. My baby was crying when Dr. Tar put him in the box, but the crying soon stopped when he set him on fire. I hate Dr. Tar, I hate him. Oh, shit! That was very disturbing. I didn't understand this, the horror this young girl went through while she was here. Such pain and suffering to have been raped by such a monster to have her child taken only to be burned alive. Why would she come back, honestly? That's a real good question. I do not know either. Okay. So we know that's all closed off. We're gonna sprint, 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 note. Keep screaming, but what you did me and my baby, but no one cares. He wants to shut me up. Shut you up, he will. Hello? Don't scare me. Crazy zombie bastard in a straight jacket. Do I go here? No, I don't go there. Oh fuck, he's behind me! Uh, run, run, run! Oh, 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 oh! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Let me out, let me out! 
Don't hurt me. Let me out, let me out, let me out. I'm not even playing. Fucking let me out. Oh fuck, where the fuck she go? Don't fucking hurt me, I swear, bitch. I will slap you. Don't fucking hurt me. Oh shit! up a little bit so that was life after us um, fuck that game so um, if you liked it go ahead and leave a like and uh, subscribe let us know if you want to see me scream more or you want to see you know mr. Indicut himself scream a little bit more so uh, yeah, definitely leave a comment, you know, give us some more games we could play, and uh, we'll definitely see what we can do. All right. Peace.